Hello and welcome to the show. President Donald Trump has a tendency to misspeak and then pretend it never happened. From calling Apple CEO Tim Cook Tim Apple to misidentifying his own staffers, Trump has become known for his gaffes. And this week was no different. While delivering a speech in Baltimore on September the 12th, he mispronounced his own vice president's name and these memes about Trump's Mike Pence flub are clearly not letting it go. During his Thursday night speech, Trump was listing the prominent Republican figures that had attended a recent event. It was going fine until he got to Vice President Mike Pence, but that's not what he called him. Chuck Grassley was there and Johnny Ernst and John Thune and Mike Pounce. Just a whole group of great people, Trump said. Elite Daily reached out to the White House for any comment but did not immediately hear back. Trump's misstep over Pence's name prompted a series of hilarious memes and tweets about the vice president. Some people suggested that Mike Pounce could not compare to the character Sir Pounce, a cat from Game of Thrones, while others joked that Pence would soon reveal that Pounce was actually the correct pronunciation. In the past, Trump has said things incorrectly and later argued that he meant to say them per Fast Company, causing still other Twitter users to wonder if the president would do the same thing in the case of Mike Pounce. Elite Daily has reached out to the White House for comment on Trump's Mike Pounce gaffe and the subsequent comparisons that Twitter users made to past errors, but did not hear back. Although Trump's mispronunciation of Pence's name got a lot of attention on Twitter, it certainly wasn't his first blunder when trying to name someone. Back in January, California Rep Kevin McCarthy appeared alongside Trump to defend the president's proposed border wall. After McCarthy finished speaking, Trump addressed him as Steve, having apparently confused him with a different Republican white man, Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise. Immediately afterward, Trump addressed the real Steve Scalise, and back in 2017, shortly after Trump assumed the presidency, he appeared to mix up his verb tenses and inadvertently implied that the famous abolitionist Frederick Douglass was still alive. Douglass died in 1895, so it's been a while. Then there are Trump's Twitter gaffes, of which there have been many. In May 2017, Trump tweeted out a non-sentence that included the word kofefe, and though he deleted the tweet, he nonetheless asked Twitter users to figure out what kofefe meant. Shortly thereafter, then Press Secretary Sean Spicer insisted that the President and a small group of people know exactly what he meant by the word kofefe. At least someone does. Now all that remains to be seen is whether or not Pence will be changing his name in the coming days, as some Twitter users suggested perhaps Trump didn't misspeak after all. Thank you.